Hello everyone. Let's study about post oscillations. To understand this, let's consider the damped oscillations. We saw that in case of damped oscillations, the amplitude would decrease with time. So this is what we got keep on decreasing so the amplitude would decrease with time and this decrease is going exponentially it's of the form e is equal to minus bt by 2m same here also will decrease with time exponentially so suppose if we let it to oscillate as it is after some time the body would come to rest that is the body would stop oscillating so all damped oscillators like a simple pendulum in air a spring mass system all those would stop oscillating with time in case if you want to sustain the oscillations or if you want to increase the amplitude then we need to pump energy into the system that is we need to supply energy to the system now that energy can be supplied by applying an external force. Such oscillations where an external force is applied on the system because of which if the system oscillates then that is called as forced oscillations. The applied force could be of any form. This applied force could be periodic or non-periodic. There are many forms of it, but what is prescribed in syllabus or what is given in syllabus is one form of periodic motion which is given here. So, the force or the periodic force is given as F0 into cos of omega suffix d into t, where this omega d is the angular frequency of the external periodic force. Keep in mind that this force may increase or decrease the amplitude. To understand this, imagine that we will call this person as a person A, this is person B. The person B is swinging on the swing and person A is helping him to swing. Imagine that the person A applies a periodic force. Imagine that the force is applied when the pendulum approaches the person, that is the swing. When the swing approaches the person and then if the person applies a force, in that case the applied force would counter, would oppose this swing. Then the amplitude may decrease. Instead of this, imagine that the person applies a force when the swing is leaving the person. So in that case, if the person applies external force, then it may match with the motion and this may give us to a higher amplitude. The amplitude could be increased or decreased based on the phase with which the force is applied to the oscillating body. Now here we take a case where the applied force is helping the body to oscillate. Now in case of force oscillation, the body itself will have its own frequency called as natural frequency omega which is given as under root of k by m or we'll put omega now that's what we use in brief under root of k by m this is the system's natural frequency now because of the applied force what happens is as time goes on the frequency of the body would change from natural frequency to the frequency of the external force so after some time the body will oscillate with the frequency of omega d that is angular frequency omega suffix d to understand this let's consider example of two friends we'll call us say person a and a person b let's assume that person a sleeps at 10 pm and wakes up at 5 pm and this person studies from 
5 p.m. to when you know, wakes up at 5 a.m. So this person studies from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. And the person A has his own studying pattern. This person sleeps at 12 p.m. That is, this person studies from 10 p.m. to 12 p.m. And then this person wakes up at 7 p.m. So both of them are studying for two hours after dinner, but at different time intervals. If the persons A and B are together, made as roommates, and both want to study together, then if you imagine that if you assume that A influences B better than B influencing A, then after some days, what will happen is even B, even B would shift the sleeping pattern or studying pattern to that of A. Which means that after some days, both A and B would follow similar study pattern or sleeping pattern. So same thing happens in case of even forced oscillations. The body will have its own natural frequency but because of the presence of this periodic external force, the frequency of the body will change from omega naught to omega suffix d. Let's find out what is the expression for displacement in case of this post oscillation. To understand this, let's recall expression for a simple harmonic motion which was f is equal to minus k into x. If we have a damped oscillator, it will be minus of b into v. Suppose if an external periodic force is applied to this damped oscillator, it becomes plus f naught into cos of omega t into t. So this is what would be the total form for the force. So here it is positive because we are assuming that the external force is aiding the motion. It becomes plus of this term. But recall that F itself is equal to m into a and a is equal to d square x by dt square. Then what you get from here is m into d square x by dt square is minus of k into x minus of b into dx by dt plus f naught cos of omega t into t. Bring this m downwards and shift these two terms to left hand side that would give us d square x by dt square plus k or write the theme with b first plus b by m dx by dt plus k by m into x is equal to f naught by m into cos omega into t. So this is the form for the differential equation. Again this is a second order differential second order differential equation. The proof of this is not required for this class. Rather if you solve it then what I get is the displacement would be equal to a into cos omega t into plus 5. Recall that the displacement is similar to the displacement for a simple harmonic motion which is given as a into cos omega t plus 5. The only difference between these expressions is in case of a simple harmonic motion which is free that is free oscillations the frequency is omega put as omega naught here is omega naught but here it is omega suffix t. That is because as we saw earlier, when the external force is imposed on the body, in that case the frequency of system itself would change and the system will oscillate with the frequency of the applied force. That is what is seen here. The form of A is a little complicated. The form of A is given as it is F naught. It will be M into omega naught square minus omega d square the whole square 
plus omega d square d square if you take omega square then the whole thing would be under a root so this is a form for amplitude there is no need to by have this expression just understand the fact that the amplitude is given by or the displacement is given by this expression now here something interesting happens if we assume that this is root 2 here i mean 1 by 2 which is root of the entire thing if we assume that b is 0 then the amplitude is given as under root of f naught it will be m square omega naught square minus omega d square the whole power half which means amplitude would become equal to f naught m into omega naught square minus omega d whole square the interesting part is if omega naught is equal to omega d in that case of a damping free oscillator then a tends to infinity this condition is called as resonance you look it in the coming lectures but for now understand the fact that in case of forced oscillator the amplitude is given by this form many cases we need to force the oscillator in many instances to sustain the oscillations